Hi, it's Jonas, a first-year PhD student at VA Free S Research Center in Hanover, Germany. I will summarize our joint work on the extraction of positional player data from broadcast soccer videos in the following five minutes. Knowing the two-dimensional positions of soccer players on the pitch are of high interest for many domains, for instance, to perform automatic match analysis, scouting, or to calculate physiological parameters. But they are not always easy to obtain due to financial limitations of club, licensing issues, or competitive concerns as the club usually does not want to disclose its own data. Usually broadcast videos can be assessed more easily. We tackle the joint task of player position estimation from pen to zoom cameras for multiple reasons. First, the compound task is not addressed in research, even though the interaction of individual modules poses some challenges. In addition, we observe that submodules lack of detailed evaluation regarding real world applicability. Lastly, the overall expected quality is not known, even for commercial systems. Let's get started with a pipeline for player position estimation. As some shot types like close ups are not of interest for the task, we we'll first apply shot boundary detection using the transnet as an optional pre-processing step for edited broadcasts. The next step in the pipeline is to find a mapping between two-dimensional pixel coordinates of the pitch and the respective normalized real-world positions, which is basically a plane-to-plane -plane mapping that can be expressed by a homography matrix H. Several approaches have in common that they first make an initial estimate that is later refined. We choose Chen and Little's approach for sports field registration as they successfully use synthetic training data. The initial estimation is performed by a nearest neighbor retrieval with known camera parameters using deep features. The refinement is then a relative image transformation between the input image and the retrieved candidate from the initial estimation and found via the Lucas Canado algorithm. The basis for Chen and Dillard's approach are edge images of a pitch either rendered by known camera poses or created using a pix to pix model for the input image. When tracking the homography changes for the individual shots of a video, we can classify between close ups and standard views via simple thresholding as homography estimation fails for close ups. The next step is then to detect players where we use a fine sheet center track model. Knowing the rough position of the feet in the bounding box is enough to reduce the box to a player position. The extracted bounding boxes are then used for team assignment, in particular into team A, B and other, where we basically use the DB scan clustering algorithm on handcrafted color features. Finally, the pixel positions of the players are mapped to its respective 2D positions using the homography matrix. The target metric for the overall system compares ground truth player positions on the 2D pitch with the estimated positions. As a summary, we use different variants to calculate a per frame error and to aggregate a single match. Since each module has weaknesses, we incorporate errors in the ground truth player mapping, player detection, team assignment and sports field registration. The evaluation data contain TV broadcasts with synchronized official ground truth positional data from the first German Bundesliga. Most important is that there is no overlap to training and validation data from individual modules. This means that other stadiums and teams will be tested. Detailed evaluation of the error and meta metric reveals weaknesses in individual modules, but with acceptable results overall, as shown in the result table for two test sets. We have observed that the major difficulty for player position estimation is the generalizability of individual modules. Furthermore, we explicitly did not consider temporal consistency like player tracking. However, to extract position data for individual players, we need player identification and re-identification. Nevertheless, we have presented the first transparent baseline and how to evaluate the joint task.